Welcome friends to another video. After a lot of thinking, we decided to move to Eos Island in Greece to start our farm. If you've been following me for some time, you'll know I considered buying land in Portugal and then looked all around Greece to find the perfect property. Moving to Eos was a huge decision that involved moving with most of my belongings, my five-year-old son, my dog and my cat. But before we left Athens, there were a few things we wanted to do. We visited the National Archaeological Museum to find a particular sculpture from a children's book. I got a haircut at my father's hair salon and watched, and watched Slava's Snow Show. Slava's Snow Show is to clowning what Cirque du Soleil is to the circus. A friend of mine had been waiting to see it for 13 years. again all our belongings packed in this car I am truly a natural in this I got this talent from my mom we're both very good at stuffing the car everything fits that's our motto so today I'm traveling with Adam my five-year-old son and my dog Odin and my cat Sylvester who you can definitely hear I'm sure about that and so we're at the port of Piraeus in Athens it's still dark outside, Adam was sleeping when we put him in the car but now he's uh, wide awake and Odin is so calm as always and Sylvester is always meowing. So yeah, we're getting on the 7.30 boat to Eos Island where we're planning to stay and start our farm. Yes, we said no. Look at this. My plants are balanced somewhere on top of everything over there. They haven't moved, I think. Plus, I'm traveling with my kombucha and my sourdough starter, which are somewhere there at the bottom, at the back. I hope they're doing okay. Yeah, so we're getting on the boat now. Thank you. <laughs> it on the boat? Kala. Good? Good. Do you like that we're going to Eos? Yes. So we're just about to arrive in Eos Island. We're about two minutes away. We're in the car ready to get out of the boat and drive directly to the plot of land where I'm gonna plant the seedlings. So we're gonna drop them off and then sort out Odin and Sylvester and then probably go home and get some food. Yeah. Mm. So tired, but we made it. As 
soon as we arrived at the homestead, we dropped off the stuff that was supposed to stay there, then locked our animals in the old tiny house so that they could spend the night safe and contained. The next morning, the first thing we did was to get some good soil to transplant some of my seedlings and immediately put up a fence so that our dog Odin could wander around free. cookies and I also made some tzudeki bread. Then my parents came over from Athens to spend Easter with us. so nice to see Adam play with his cousins. traditional Greek way, going to the church on Saturday night, then returning home to eat some Majirica soup and break tight Easter eggs. 
On Easter Sunday, we roasted a whole baby goat and had a big feast. Γεια σου, Ρεπανιά. Γεια μας, On Sunday evening, there was a traditional feast with live music and lots of dancing. And sadly, the next morning, it was time to say goodbye to our loved ones. It was time for them to go back to Athens and Belgium. The roses are blooming and they're so aromatic. Adam loves eating them raw. I've been planting my seedlings in companion. Tomatoes with carrots, corn with peas, etc. me sometimes but he's usually bored quickly and it's hard to keep him entertained. So I didn't have the camera with me yesterday but here is meant to be the tomato bed, so tomatoes will be planted where the um, sticks are. So three to four tomatoes over here and three to four tomatoes over here. I have five different kind of tomatoes, so I will be making more tomato beds, tomato groups, I guess. Uh, so I do companion planting. So here are tomatoes and then cappuccino, onions, peppers. Um, I have three or four kinds of peppers, lavender, basil, and then I also planted some garlic in this row. 
and carrots in this row and then some lettuces which I'm not sure they're gonna do very well in the Greek sun like tomatoes love the full sun but lettuces don't so we'll see about that and then today I planted two different kinds of strawberries these are white strawberries and this is red strawberry and then some thyme at the back um, a row of onions a row of um, climbing beans and then a row of garlic here and then another row of beans and some more onions yeah hello Sylvester Sylvester is always keeping me company Sylvester is living his best life. Anna. Thank you all so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!